so it was me and it Malabar. sounded like you legit farted oh uh, and we were running this scam <laughs> to sell fake newspapers to the elderly uh do you know do you know how we did that tyson how did you do it uh we, we would take the wrappings off of dead fish in various fish markets we would wipe off the slime and offer it like uh, as products of nostalgia, you know, do you remember last week, Mr. Henson? Here you go. Um, you know, do you remember when Stacy was running for re-election in the, in the uh, 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 you know, the city council meeting? Like, you know, that was last month. Here you go. Um, so primary issue of that was it turns out that those old folks were suffering from serious mental dilemmas and after watching a spirit box music video i felt really bad about it um needless to say we did make a qvc killing off the newspapers uh and i guess one could call that front page news baby taylor there's a you could say your name or you could say hey hi so taylor take those uh <laughs> fractured shattered remnants of a store of a of a rambling story and compile them into something funny that works in a way uh, that uh, i was unable to i don't got anything hey everybody so. welcome to pokemon <laughs> after dark ride my name is brett uh i am currently suffering from uh spirit box and uh joining me today as always nobody cares hannah and then there's taylor who created the show and also joining us is our very very special friend uh, Tyson Dang of Tyson Dang fame. Tyson, say hi. I hate when you say of Tyson Dang fame, but hi. <laughs> Tyson, the, the Tyson of Tyson Dang? Tyson. Every time. Tyson, you are a streamer and a musician and a entertainer and an all around awesome good guy. Is that correct? Um, yes and no. That's what I'm reading on the presser that you sent me uh, to read specifically. Um, Damn it. It says here... <laughs> Your middle you name is. To call me out like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. It says here your middle name is Messiah. Is that true? Uh, yes. Uh, so real quick before we get into it, like, uh, so you're a, I would call you a professional streamer. Is that right? Um. I would, yeah, I would say that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Professional. Yeah, you stream uh, music. You do drum covers uh, where the audience gets to pick like music off of. And you just play the drums to it, which for first of all is like playing 4D chess. It must be to be able to hear a song that potentially you've never heard before and then play drums to it. Sounds mm -hmm. pretty cool. And then that's pretty fun. You also play video games like Monster Hunter World. That's correct. Fun Monster stuff. Hunter World. Yep. Do some all... Dark Souls every once in a while and some Phasmophobia. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then you also have a band. I do. I've never heard of them personally, but I hear they're called Red Dang Did -da -da Dangle. Yes, Red Handed Dang is Red the, uh, Dang. the Red Handed Dang. Red Handed Dang and the Niles. Actually, they're my favorite band, so they're your should be your favorite band too. If you're listening to this and you don't know them, that's insanity. Who are you? And get out, uh, Hannah. What have you been up to? Um, not a lot. See, I'm just. What have you this been up ball. to? I have not hosted a podcast in like two and a half weeks, so I'm still. <laughs> I'm still scraping the rust off like a like a dirty knife on a sailor's cheek. Beep beep. Taylor, <laughs> what have you? Ha, we haven't seen you in a while, in like a month. I've been hiding my in my apartment, just hanging out, trying not to catch the sick. <laughs> my mustache is currently dissolving. Yeah, it oh. looks like you're melting yeah. over there, Brett. <laughs> so the costume beard that I'm wearing. For Santa. That's a costume? Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Hannah, we had a t-shirt thing recently. We did. We I said for two months that I'd give a t-shirt to someone for leaving a review for our website. Or what wait, no, our podcast. That's what this is. This is a show, not a not a website. <laughs> what is yeah, happening? So do you want to finally announce who the winner is? I feel like I've talked enough for the entirety of the show. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the rest of us will take over. So the winner of the t-shirt, and we will 
mail it out shortly, but it might take a little bit to get there. It's is, on its, it, hold on, it's on its way to me as we oh, speak. It, as you're, of the you're not the winner. But I'm going to send it off from me. I know, you didn't have to say that. That's technical jargon that people don't need to know. But anyway, the Wild Junior. Yay! What was, what was his comment or her? Uh, I don't know. Well, them. you put hey. me on the spot. <laughs> uh, Tyson, be entertaining with your entertaining self real quick while I pull this up. I am so Look sorry to put you on the spot. Look at me, I'm entertaining. Woo! Look at him on the YouTube <laughs> version of this show. <laughs> that's a that's a good segue tyson i appreciate that tyson while i'm looking this up like uh you like pokemon right i brought you on a pokemon show yes i do enjoy the pokemans they Days. are of okay, they are they are of part of my growing up and upbringing much like raising pokemon uh tell me a little bit about that like uh like, how old were you? Like, do you have any stories? Like, did you catch them all? Um, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I was there when Pokemon came to North America uh, with the TV shows and the the games and the, the card games as well. All the peripherals that came out. I got uh, Pokemon Blue with my first copy and fell in love with it. I remember I had... When I got to the first gym, uh, who's the first gym was Brock, I think. Yes, uh, uh, yes, yes, it is. Yeah. So I was playing that game on end, and on an older Game Boy, you know, you can't really turn off the game, and you can't, you know, put it on standby or sleep mode or whatever. And um, oh no, I don't like the way the story is going. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a save option. I didn't know that if you hit start, because, you know, I'm, I don't know how old I am at this time, probably like seven or eight or something. And I had to take the Game Boy with me to the bathroom or washroom or however you guys say it. And we say toilet. You guys say toilet. No, no I'm I say toilet. bathroom. We say bathroom. The, the potty room. Room of rest. The room of rest. <laughs> I bring a pillow in there sometimes, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take a nap wherever you are when it happens. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When the train is bigger than the tunnel, sometimes you just need to take a nap exactly where you're at. Don't think about that one too hard. Now I can't not think about it. I'm starting my OnlyFans account <laughs> soon. Y'all check it out. In Germ <laughs> Germany. Uh, continue. Sorry, Tyson. Um, basically, I had to take the Game Boy with me to the bath, wash the restroom, that the place. shower room. <laughs> the room of cleansing and Ooh, i like that <laughs> and uh i had to leave it on while i was doing my shower came out of the shower and the battery died so i had to restart the game all the way from the beginning i spent so much time oh, raising my no. little pidgey and it wasn't going to do well anyways because it's a rock rock versus flying but oh no but that's that still so heartbreaking yeah. Your digital monsters were euthanized before their time. Professor Oak had to ask me once again what my gender was, and I was like, ugh. And it was all weird. Like, bro, come on. Get what, with the your, times. what was your name? It's a rude question to ask. You're my grandkid, kid, right? What was your name? They need to just they need to just like ask for your pronouns and call it a day. And that's it. Yeah. Maybe future Pokemon games will start doing that. I don't know. Maybe. So the Wild Junior said about that uh, subject, great podcast, body. Uh, he said, I had a great body. Uh, most Pokemon podcasts are PG rated <laughs> and they're great, but, <laughs> but, um, after dark rye is terrible and R rated. No, he said, but after dark rye is a breath of fresh air, the hosts are entertaining and the podcast is littered with not safe for work jokes. I wouldn't recommend it to any adult Pokemon fan. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. I truly don't. We are very kid. Not we're not safe for work. We are very kid friendly. Go back to that episode where we talked about <laughs> where you work. And, the, <laughs> and the various love caves that Hannah's obsessed with. So check that show out. Just kidding. Don't. I got in so much trouble for that, for Hannah's filthy mouth. Or check out the previous <laughs> episode where stepsister was stuck in the dryer. Woo! <laughs> moving on. Hannah. What are you doing? Hannah, in the last episode, we had 
planned a, a whole thing and then you said fuck this shit i'm out and unplugged your computer um <laughs> you promised the Bad. people a thing is there a thing that we can do with your thing did i promise did i promise a thing pretty sure well i don't know like i don't know what even made me think of this maybe we were talking about it or something but so i looked on amazon and i found pokemon mad libs like fantastic and most of the actually probably all these we can make them horribly horribly inappropriate you know because that's that's what the fans want okay so <laughs> I, i'm just assuming you're gonna make me taylor and tyson pick various words and yes. then you're gonna read we... the, the, our monstrosity taylor's probably sorry tyson i'm not <laughs> Taylor's probably the smartest one here. <laughs> oh shit, she's coming through. So, um, I'll take Tyson, your word for it. Tyson works from home though, so I mean, even before the pandemic. So, who's the smartest well, one, really? T- Taylor's like a scientist. Taylor is it, Taylor is also a research scientist. So, I mean, if she really wanted to yeah. flex that on us, she could. Yeah, she, she's so, she's already won by default. Um, I remember most of my English lit classes, so. I'm glad I'm the one giving these out though, because I'd mess it up. But so we want to play some Mad Lips. Lay it on us, big britches. Okay. Tyson, you can go first. All right. I need to find a cool pen first so to write these down. All right. I need a verb. Stroking. Oh. <laughs> Tyson gets this show. He truly does. <laughs> All right, Taylor, an adjective. Um, quickly. <laughs> oh, this no, is already so or, or fast, fast. I don't know. Something like that. So I think Tyson I like said, quickly. Tyson said stroking, and the first thing you thought of was quickly. Quick. All right, Brett. <laughs> I, need, I need a place. Um, Hannah's bedroom. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to get beaten I, up by your not husband. Not off to a good start. <laughs> I am trying to get your husband to kick my ass. <laughs> um. Okay, Tyson. I need a verb ending in ing. Oh no. Um. Uh. uh panting. <laughs> this, <laughs> this show is so horny. All right, Taylor, I need a verb. <laughs> um, like rocking, rock to rock. Okay. Tyson, Trying you're to bring it back that. to the wholesome territory. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brett, I me. need a plural noun. Orphans. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> rocking them orphans. <laughs> I, I really had to think for a second. <laughs> all right um so the next one is a celebrity so we could just use tyson oh tyson Ooh, that is that is wildly inaccurate that's but, not but true that flexing. that's not true <laughs> all right tyson i need an adjective an adjective um filthy oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> all right taylor a noun uh chicken <laughs> oh no a filthy chicken there's a stuffed chicken dog toy oh, on the ground no. <laughs> <laughs> um okay brett i need an occupation an occupation yeah like a job did he just blue screen he might have podcast host no nope. <laughs> He was just thinking real hard. I he was thinking pod- very well. Okay, so first I was trying to think of what's the name of the job of a person who takes care of an orphanage, but then I then I couldn't think of it. What? A parent. Fair. A parent. <laughs> All right, Tyson. I need an adjective. God, how many of these are there? Man, there's That's just a lot two of words. More. Just two, two more. more blanks. Okay. All right. uh, an adjective. Um expressive is that an adjective yes yes yeah let's go with that 
I think it'll work. All right, Taylor and Nam. Pokemon. Is that a noun? Yes. Yes. I guess. I guess uh, okay. Okay. Now I kind of say this without like laughing. Can, or can I get one more word that just goes at the end, at the very end? Why? Because you yeah. always have to have the last word. Exactly. It should be at the, not even at the, not the last word, but the word before the final punctuation. Uh, I was going to say like a comma and my name was Hannah. All right. You ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait for this. This is going to be great. So I had to make a change to the first, not word, but it had an ING at the end. It doesn't sound right with it. Oops. It's okay. So stroke. Okay. Stroke. <laughs> so you want to stroke Pokemon, huh? <laughs> well, it's not as quickly as it seems. First off, you'll need to find them. You can catch Pokemon in the wild or in Hannah's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have a Charizard or Blastoise, you'll need to gain its trust. That's not always easy. You can try feeding it or panting it, but the best way to gain a Pokemon's trust is to rock with it. <laughs> okay. once you and your pokemon are best orphans start <laughs> training you can do this with a friend or even with tyson a filthy gym nearby <laughs> at a filthy gym nearby sorry <laughs> think of it like training a chicken <laughs> only when you've gained sorry god i'm so dyslexic <laughs> only when you trained enough should you challenge another podcast host for real after all that work it would be expressive for someone to come along and take your pokemon away and i don't remember what i was and also my and, name is and hannah. my name is hannah <laughs> oh <laughs> and also my name is hannah Wow, I can't yeah, believe yeah, yeah. that that actually worked because they kids are basically orphaned when like their parents throw them out when they're 10 years old. That's, uh, That's probably what your mom should have done to you. Hi, mom. I, hi, mom. I definitely demand that we go filthier next time we do one of these. Okay. Only curse That's words only next good. time. <laughs> Tyson, surprise question. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is L Lickitung. Lickitung. Oh, that makes Lickitung. sense. That makes sense because when I said, yeah. Tyson, I'm getting a Pokemon tattoo of Red Hand in the Nile. Wh who would you like to be? And you picked Lickitung. Yeah. And, and, oh, and there now, you go. And now I have you tattooed on my chest as a Licky Licky. Well, Licky Tongue, not Licky Licky. Sorry. Which, which I think it looks so good. And I want to try to. I want to find a way to like get that isolated because it looks so cool. I, I have it isolated. Like I can send it. I'll, I'll send it to you later. I will send it to Ooh. you. I will send you the source oh. later. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk after this. Uh, yeah. So there's so much news. Oh my God. There is a Nidoran event since last that we recorded. Uh, did anybody catch any shiny Nidorans? I count two. I caught one. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I would hope you'd say something instead of just like raising your your pen. You there in the well, back of the I class? I was letting you know that you I was gonna Go say something. Thank you for raising your hand before you speak. <laughs> uh, they had the the late guardians came back into raids for a little while. Did anybody manage to get an Uxi or a Mesprit? Oh man, those are available now. Uh, well, you can remote remote in. So if you have a friend in another country, they can invite you. Um, oh, no. was not able to get a mess for it, but I did get an Uxie, so that was that was good. Fancy, no, not an Uxie, the other way around. I got a mess for it, not an Uxie. Sorry, I don't know anybody in in the Asian territories. If you listen to the show in Asia, uh, uh, holler at me, um, for next time. New Pokemon in the wild, Hannah. I owe you a huge apology because in the last episode, you said, uh, are the new Pokemon out? And I laughed at you and said, of course not, silly, because when we recorded it, of course they weren't. But when it came out, of course they were. So, yes, Hannah, the new Pokemon have come out from the Kalos region, Gen 6, I think. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. You didn't remember anyway. No. Nope. Uh, 
Espers went into raids, which is my which evolved into Meowstic, which is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And I've already got one. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Level 50 is out, sad piranha. However, it was satisfying as hell to get like a thousand new medals as soon as it came out. That was pretty awesome. Actually, uh, it was kind of annoying. Really? I liked it. I was I was in the middle of trying to catch a bunch of Pokemon and I had all these medals keep popping up and I couldn't do what I was trying to do and it was a waste of my time. <laughs> Hannah, I would give you a medal for best co-host. I would give you a medal to stop touching your mouth. I have hair all like from this <laughs> from this fake beard. It's like sticking like I feel it even when it's not there. I apologize. I'm sorry for touching my face. Don't touch your face, especially in public. You'll get the stuff. Um, so the sick. the sick. Also, lament. You have to catch even more Pikachu's for that medal, and even more big Caterpie or not. Not fuck me. Big Magikarps. Magikarps. And even more big rats. Like woo, fantastic. It's actually tiny rats. Sorry, excuse it's me. Not tiny big rats. rats. Tiny mice, woohoo! Um, humping in the walls. Uh, Kadabra cards in in the card game are allowed to be printed again. Yuri Geller, who's somehow still alive, finally said, "Hey, uh, you can print the card again. I won't sue you this time." Uh, so we've covered this beforehand. Oh, the magician guy, yeah. Yeah, the psychic. Uh, so like, Kadabra is based off of Yuri Geller, the guy that could bend spoons. And he saw, I guess, a Pokemon card and sued the Pokemon company over it because of they did not consult him. Even Kadabra's name in Japanese is Yuri Geller in Japanese. So uh, finally, he's like, oh, I'm not going to, you know, there had jokes on him. They're like, we're not going to pay you to use your likeness anymore. We just won't make Kadabra cards ever again. And they haven't. Um, but now he's saying that. Oh, you can, but he's also like kind of jumping on board for it. Like, oh, he's using words like my Pokemon and things like that. Like he's proud of it now as though he wasn't trying to get a check from Nintendo for like 20 years, but whatever. Uh, moving on, Jesse and James are returning to Pokemon Go after like 60 days of not being in it um, for the Christmas event. It's been longer than that. 120 days for the Christmas event. Hannah uh, misses them. I do. I do too. Dude, you what? could get, because you could totally get two um, components at the same time, basically. Yeah, she's right. And you also get a shot at Shiny, Shadow, Coughing, and Ekans, which I never did. Yes. But it's nice to see them again. Um, there's a whole lot of things for this Christmas event, and Hannah's going to tell us in approximately five minutes what, what all the stuff is in is that are in that event but i do know that rufflets will be in raids for the first time so you don't have to worry about getting those from the battle league or trying to get lucky from a 10k egg um speaking of eggs though hannah did recently run a after dark rise certified uh scientific endeavor where she got nine 12k oh. strange eggs and hatched them all at the exact same time and hannah your results they sucked <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, so I lit. Hold on, I'd have the screenshot somewhere. Why don't you tell me this stuff? Like, was it did they suck because they weren't the ones that you wanted, or they were just duplicates? Yeah. So a lot of them were duplicates. So I got four Trubbish, two Absols, one Larvitar, one Ponyard, and one Volibee. So. So Tyson, yeah. I know you probably. Go sorry ahead. sorry You're go fine. ahead uh, hannah i thought you were done well i was just gonna say like trubbish used to be in 5k eggs yeah. and then he used to be in the wild so why is he in a 12k egg so for context like there are there's like one super rare in the 12k that's Sandile. then there's a cut then they put in two new pokemons for them that are somewhat uncommon and that's volaby and Ponyard. That pa one. Ponyard. That Pon Ponyard. Uh, and then, yeah. Ponyard. And then, uh, so uh, the the rest are, are somewhat rarer Pokemon that have existed before. And then there's a couple that are just straight, the most common ones that are just trash. Because it's basically a loot box is what it is. 
Um, and so, yeah, everything that Hannah described was, in fact, very sad. Sorry, Hannah. I actually do have a sanded dial. Oh, you just wanted to flex that. A sanded dial? Yeah. A, yeah. Okay, I cool. I love a, I had I love one, a like, sanded dial. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Nope. It's almost as cool as a sundial. <laughs> hey, Taylor with the joke in there. I appreciate that. Feel free to pop in anytime. I'm only here for the lame jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your lame jokes are better oh, than my normal jokes. Yeah, that's totally true. How dare you, Imagine Hannah. what her non-lame jokes are. Don't they agree like with me. Surprise blowing. question, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> what Pokemon could you beat in a fist fight? A fight to the death, I would say. Oh man, so when you asked that question, I was still thinking about the Pokemon Mad Libs and like the first word was stroking. So when you said that, I was like, whoa. Which one can um, I stroke? Man, I want this barboach. Just... <laughs> There's so many terrible things you could do with a barboach as a prop. If there was a Pokemon that I was engaged with a fist fight with and I could beat up? Yeah. Hmm. We know how fierce you Which... are. I've seen you beat dragons before. I've I've fun fact I've actually I've actually never been in a fist fight ever in my entire life. Oh so I have no idea what it's like to punch a person, but to punch a Pokemon, I don't know. <laughs> um maybe Psyduck. Maybe I'll uh just oh, look at this is the question where you go, oh poor Psyduck. Oh poor answer. Oh poor I mean duck. we'll be on the same level. Who who knows? That duck won't even know it's Psyduck happening. might actually <laughs> Yeah. After you punch it, it'll just go. Sigh, just sigh. Why is my face sore? He just won't remember. He'll think that's he ran, true. and then you'll just be like, Psyduck, you got to be careful. You keep running into that door. Oh, that's not nice. It'll just be pented up anger until it turns to a cold duck and then comes after me. Oh yeah, then it'll remember all the abuse that you delivered upon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hannah, do you got the Christmas event pulled up yet? Uh, was I supposed to do that? <laughs> Shit. Uh, so there's a Kanto tour event uh, in February uh, for $12.99 American or $11.99 American rather. Uh, you can purchase a ticket for the fifth, fourth or fifth Pokemon Go uh, anniversary celebration. And it's also the Pokemon 25th anniversary celebration. Um, during this event, all 151 original Pokemon will be shining, including Mew for the first time ever. Um, and of course, you could always transfer it to home and then in the sword and shield and all that fun stuff. Uh, and then you'll be presented with a choice after you purchase a ticket as it gets closer to the event, green version or red version. Um, whichever one you pick determines which Pokemon are more likely to be shiny and which ones are more likely to show up from an incense. Um, Hannah, which, uh, which one are you going to pick? I know you already bought the ticket. Um, what did I say? I don't remember. I think the green green what are you going for did i say green just the shinies really well they're well yeah but there's different ones for different ones like i literally just said like two seconds ago. yeah i know i wasn't listening <laughs> uh, so the curse um, of the show i'm so good that so, nobody hears me <laughs> um dang there's so many texts okay yeah so i'm going with the green just because yeah. There's more chances to catch shiny Pokemon that I don't have. Right. I have which... seven shinies. I have seven shinies out of the red and two out of the green. Which what? That's I mean, math says that's the smart money. Uh I, I need to do that that math myself, but like out of the green, Tangela and Horsey are pretty dope. Hitmon Hitmon Lee. I mean Chan, sorry, Hitmon Chan. Psyduck, don't have those. Psyduck would love those. Poor punched in the face. Psyduck. Uh, on the red side, you got Oddish, Kabuto, Lickitung, Krabby, Shelter, Hitmonlee. I mean, there's a lot of good ones. I might be leaning red actually. Now that I now that I say it out loud, I might be leaning red. I mean, there's several in red that I, I want. Like I want Sheldor, Shiny, Drowsy. 
lick a tongue i wouldn't mind a sh- and a ponita i've been trying to catch one of those but well i mean i have a ponita but i mean i would definitely take more than one um and same thing for evie like i'll take all the shiny evies because they need they she's got so many evolutions yeah oh she's she's on both tickets so no matter what you'll you'll have a shot at evie so right scratch that taylor which one are you gonna get i'll do any mighty mo any mini mo Tyson, I know you probably don't even play Pokemon Go, do you? You are correct. I do. He's the cool one. That's okay. No, I just, I, it was it was always a it, it was a battery killer for me, so that's why I never played yeah. it. And I think I was always around enough people that did play it that I just kind of lived vicariously through them. Osmosis, absolutely. Well, that's totally <laughs> fine. We're not strictly a Pokemon Go show. We're just a Pokemon show that occasionally covers like the news and stuff like that but we do play pokemon go hannah's the filthy casual out of the group well i mean pokemon go is like one of their it's their like biggest now it's bigger than sword and shield it's bigger than anything that's like yeah they the biggest most money. successful thing to date i think isn't it they got a, I, I mean i don't have the numbers but they they make probably millions a day uh, i'm sh- i'm certain certain they still certain they still do Oh yeah. What is the English language? Nobody knows. How does anybody else ev- choose? Okay, hang on. Before we continue, Spotify rap came out. Thank you so much for listening to this show. It was honestly, I was gonna say, how does anybody listen to this show? And then it reminded me of the Spotify rap stats. Insane. The fact that anybody likes this show, and and the fact that like people that are amazing like Tyson agreed to be on this show. Um it still blows my brains out the backside of my head. Hannah? Yeah. You want the Christmas thing? <laughs> no, I was going to say just thoughts. <laughs> like, did you want to expound on, on people that listen to our Yeah, show? I almost, like, feel like you Photoshopped that. I don't know. I did not. <laughs> I did not. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. We have a lot of overseas listeners and guess some people are trying to find some things to do during this crazy covid situation wow you couldn't just like accept that maybe we're good at what we do well maybe because of this it's allowed people a chance to hear something in their ear receptacles that they may not have listened to before i i want to bring up this specifically because we have a certified canadian amongst us um don't hit the emergency hey. button. Don't hit the emergency button. We don't need to eject them. Um, but <laughs> our show grew 500% in, a, in Canada. 500% growth is a it lot. From one to five. Yeah. <laughs> five think- people <laughs> listen to our show in Canada. <laughs> and uh, well, 200. 200- that's- that's probably because we're not the typical Americans that like. I, I imagine America. some of that is probably me being in like uh, Tyson's Discord, the Dang Gang, and a lot of people from there from Canada. Uh, the same no, thing. Not with, at all, actually. Well, I'm sure <laughs> certain there's people from Canada in there, right? I mean, at a quick glance, there's like four, oh. three or four people <laughs> out of the entire. Like, yeah. I know for sure there's some in, in Lauren's discard, Lauren Babbick's discard, the LB fan. Yeah. Um, I think there's people more in there. Yeah. So I, I, I was assuming Canada was from something to do with me throw, shilling my, my snake poison as medicine in, in those forums. Uh, forums, fuck me. Hello, 2007 and pro boards uh, discord. I mean, they I'm essentially are forums. Yeah, they're the new pro boards. Yeah. Um, but also that we had 200% growth in Ireland. Whoever you are in Ireland, I love you. I don't know who you are. I don't know who's in Ireland. I don't know anybody in Ireland. And if I do know you and I just forgot that you're from Ireland, I apologize. But thanks for listening to the show. I'm amazed that you can even understand have several me. Germans too. With their people in Germany. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Okay, those are my people. Like- 14, 14 <laughs> countries is, is what we got. That's so, amazing. congratulations to you guys. Thanks. I, I mean, we're not pulling red hand of the Nile numbers, of course, but we're also not a good source of entertainment like they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, know how we get our numbers. So, like, red hand of the Nile is the legitimate, like, um, 
entertainment that you go to YouTube to watch and we're like the lazy react channel that's just reacting to somebody else's hard work. Like, yeah, that was cool. Subscribe to my channel now. <laughs> I'm hey, hey, some podcasts are really cool because it's all about like, it, it's good times and good vibes. And that's the people that listen to those. And, you know, like uh, an RHD song would last four to five minutes, whereas an episode of a podcast could last 30 to an hour. And if someone's stick around for the entirety of that, that's I think that's more meaningful than it, than one song. Tyson, you're too kind. I just naturally assume that um, as, as soon as I start talking, people like go into a coma that uh, and then just leave their podcast player on by accident. That's what I think is happening personally. They've passed out. They're laying on the ground. <laughs> yeah, there's foam it's, coming out of their mouth. It's mouths. not about the method of it's not about the method of getting the numbers. It's about the numbers that show up at the end. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for. Uh, your patronage people that that are asleep no no doubt right now <laughs> um if i can incept something in your brain is tell a friend uh hannah do you have the xmas event pulled up we need to hear your beautiful voice uh, and you can hear I more think... of this beautiful voice on hannah's onlyfans.com slash backslash hannah's bananas feet.com or i do need some extra christmas money so i mean you get it <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, no, I gotta tell you this. So I took Dozer out for a run. I found a fucking twenty dollar bill out on my run. I literally got. You paid found to my run twenty dollars? That's amazing. I totally lost it. <laughs> Fell I'm right sorry. out of the car. Um, finders keepers. Finders keepers. Yes, thank you. Taylor. Wow, that's rude. Continue, continue, Hannah. The, okay. The, I see the floor to you. I'll stop talking. Okay. So right now for approximately the time it takes for you to finish what you need to say. I'm stopping. Yes. I'm done. Okay. Tyson, so random question, question time, buddy. You're on a desert <laughs> island. And Brett is eaten by sharks. Brett is eaten by sharks, but you're on the desert island. Um, and you have one Pokemon. You can pick one Pokemon to be on that desert island for you. I, whatever you choose to do with that Pokemon is your own business. You know, don't ask, don't tell, behind closed doors, all that thing. I mean, help you get off the island? I don't know what your, your method of reasoning is, but what would that Pokemon be, Tyson? Might be that $20 bill that I have found. <laughs> I know how you can earn it. Uh, visit Tyson's OnlyFans page, dot com <laughs> slash backslash Tyson Dang's Well, <laughs> Well, we know what Brett's been doing uh, when he's not podcasting. Hey, there's a reason I got no money. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. All of it went into starting up the OnlyFans. <laughs> I never had money. That's the answer. This is the true reason. Uh, sorry, Tyson. Go ahead. Desert Island Pokemon. Desert Island Pokemon. Something. You know what? If it was... I'd, I'd make... What's that one Pokemon... Muna, Muna, Mana. Mush Mushana. Mana? Is that the, I think that's the evolved one, right? It's the yeah, one that's like probably. all about the dreams. Yes, I know who you're talking yeah. about. I'm bringing it up right yeah. now. Yes, Muna. Muna, forget all, Muna or Mana. Forget all the hardships of being stranded there. And it does Why evolve into Masharna. Maybe I'll grab one of those Pokemon that like grants all of your wishes or something like that. Is there, is there a Pokemon that does that? There's some Prefer. genies, but I don't think they... They uh, grant wishes. I think they're just assholes. That look like <laughs> is it Jirachi? Jirachi is might it? grant wishes. Yeah. Wouldn't Jirachi also like give you nightmares or something like that? Where no, that's Jirachi? that is Darkrai. Oh, Jirachi's the yes. Jirachi is the shooting yeah, star. Pokemon. The shooting star Pokemon. Yeah. I actually Dur knew something. <laughs> During the short hey. periods when it is awake, Jirachi is said to grant wishes. However, in the anime, go. Jirachi cannot create an object that is desired from a wish. Instead, well, instead it teleports the, the desired object to the person that made the wish. So essentially, yeah. So Jirachi, final answer, huh? Jirachi, let's go. It also looks like Jirachi is a living plush doll that you could like sleep on if you needed a pillow, like on a on a on a I would probably do something stupid like wish for like a campfire, um, thinking that I have three wishes and then not being able to use them to escape afterwards i'd wish for a second jirachi oh i wish for two more jirachis yeah then you can so use then, a wish 
Then you wish for more Jirachis with the other one. Oh. It's like a Mr. Me6 complex. But at the same time, the Jirachi <laughs> just won't be alone. That's yeah. the thing the genie never said. He said you can't wish for more wishes. That's one of the rules. But he didn't say you couldn't wish for more genies. There you go. Oh, oh. We just found a loophole. We, we did. did. Good job, Tyson. Wonderful. Uh, Hannah, do you have something? Finally, I've been waiting for you forever to, to talk about this December <laughs> community, this December event. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm starting going on December. To let you talk now. <sighs> God. Okay, December twentieth. That's a Friday. Uh, thanks, and five days till Christmas. Um, that is this week when this show comes out. Because forget no. this show comes out on Tuesday. No, you got to be kidding me. No, because no, Christmas is on Friday. This nope. is not. <laughs> this is for last year. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is on Friday though this year. It is, right. but it was She's... saying December twentieth was on Friday, but uh it is incorrect, madam. I'm looking where's the twenty twenty stuff? How did you Here, get maybe I should did... type in twenty twenty? Did you not like twenty twenty so much that you just decided to use twenty nineteen's calendar? <laughs> 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 maybe. I mean it has been really stressful. Uh I can turn back time. If I could find a way. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Keep it going, Taylor. Audio medium. Right, I have no idea where this shit is. Do you have any info on this? Or are you just gonna let me suffer? Like, why can't I find this? <laughs> Are you okay? Do I need to call a doctor? Follow us on YouTube to see what was happening. Uh, so the event um, starts okay, on Friday, no, no, no. Wait, December wait, 20th, wait, wait, 2019. Wait, wait. I Continue. literally just found something. And it says, with this event, usually comes with bonuses and buffs. Like, okay. You don't have the like, deeds? That tells me so much. This is an I event for says. 2020 specifically, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, this double catch XP until the end of December. It says for previous holiday events, scroll down the read. Uh, we're excited to announce that the latest Pokemon film, Pokemon the Movie Seekers of the Jungle, is coming soon. In celebration of its release is beginning on Monday, December 14th, Jesse and James will be returning to Pokemon Go, and you'll be able to encounter Shiny Celebi by completing limited time special research. You can also look forward to lots of other in game content inspired by the movie, such as. <clears throat> Starting at 8 a.m. local time, December 14th. Limited time special research for Shiny Celebi. Jesse and James will be returning in their Meowth bloom for a, balloon for a limited amount of time. Uh, stay tuned for updates on when Jesse and James will be leaving. Uh, be sure to check out the avatar items inspired by Jesse and James' outfits from Pokemon the Movie, Secrets of the Jungle. Uh, from December 14th, 8 a.m. to Monday, December 21st, 2020 at 10 p.m. Explorer Pikachu will be appearing in the wild and in raids. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Explorer Pikachu. No idea what that is, assuming it's another dumb Pikachu in a hat. Uh, if you take a snapshot during this time, you might see Jesse and James. They might photo, photo bomb you, or maybe they want you like for like a unicorn situation. I don't know. No judgments here. I mean, shit, they're kind of hot. Why not? During the Pokemon Spotlight Hour, Tuesday, December 15th, 2020, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., Explore Pikachu will be appearing more frequently in the wild, and you'll receive twice the candy for catching, for catching Pokemon. Uh, continuing on from December 14th through 17th, Hoot Hoot, Nuzleaf, Drillbur, Cottony, Dwebble, Dweeble, Dweeble, and more will be appearing more frequently in the wild. If lucky, you might encounter a Durant, uh, Lickitung, Mawow, Flygon, Rufflet, and more will be appearing in raid battles. Iglybuff, Smoochum, Elekid, Magby, Bonsley, and Rufflet will be hatching from 5k eggs. And if you're lucky, you might even find a shiny Rufflet while going 100 miles an hour past that stoplight on Speedy! Jesse and James' Meowth Balloon will be appearing more frequently on December 25th. That's Christmas. Uh, that was Liar Liar, the movie I just referenced a second ago that Hannah shook her head at. Um, and that's, there you go. So for Christmas, you get lots of Jesse and James balloons. So you can ignore your family the proper way. Or if you're not seeing your family because you're quarantining, you, you're not never alone when Jesse and James are in your bedroom with you. Uh, Hannah, yes. that, what do you think of that? Anybody? Feel free to hop in here. I would love to have Jesse, Jesse and James in my back. But oh, I don't tell. I won't tell Jane. I'm not going to tell Jane you said that. Oh, she'll again. be part of it. And then again, I don't know what she's into. <laughs> 
slash only fan. She's Jesse and James. <laughs> Jesse and James only fan. Hey, there's an idea. Jesse and James only fans. Huh? Ooh. Like the, the performers dress as Jesse and James. Something maybe, to look into. Let's go into that. Maybe make some money. And then you can bring in Misty occasionally. And Brock. Uh, well, yeah. And okay. Cynthia. As long as it's not Ash. No Ash. No Ash. No Ash, please. No Ash. We're done with But Ash. Pikachu, sure. Unless he's like in the corner, like crying and jacking off or something. Um, <laughs> just crying. Isn't he still 10 years old? Well, they're all like 10 age. years old no, if you want to be technical, except for Jesse and James. Oh, we can get, we can get, uh, 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 what's the nurse's name? Nurse Joy. Joy. Officer Jenny. Uh-huh. Officer Jenny. Hannah, which one are you? Whichever one's stuck in the dryer? I'm I'm not in this conversation. Oh, stepbrother, I'm stuck in the dryer. Stepbrother. I don't know how to this make isn't, pasta. This probably isn't the content Tyson wants to be associated with. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad for his brand. Man, well, wholesome. Okay, so I keep quoting. That's from Ryan that's the happening. Leader on YouTube. That's uh-huh. like the funniest video ever. So... Just so he doesn't sue us or something. Oh my gosh, Hannah, do you know what? What? We have to spin a Pokemon. We do. We do, because time time is a construct that is slipping through my fingers as we as we talk, right, Taylor? Yes. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> da, 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 da. Who's it gonna be? Bum, 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 bum. It was so nice I had to do it twice, apparently. Where is that sound? Where does that sound come from? Probably your asshole. Oh. <laughs> Surprise. That's why it's a- all muffled. <laughs> Who gets to go into my asshole today? Uh let's see. Find out on tonight's own episode of OnlyFans. <laughs> oh man. Number 643. Taylor, or actually Tyson, what number? Who is that? 643? That's right. Uh, take a, take a guess. Just take a guess. Pikachu? No. Oh, you mentioned it earlier, didn't you? I, uh, Rashi, you? Re, Reggie. What up, the Reggie? Revealing my secrets of the pre production <laughs> meeting, Tyson. <laughs> yes, the show, the Pokemon is totally random and no how, in no way is it curated. Uh, and, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right tyson it was totally random yes it was totally random you did not mention a certain thing that had um a name attached to it the pokemon is in fact a ash <laughs> tyson surprise question now um if you're starving on a desert island and you have to eat a pokemon which ash. pokemon do you choose you choose to eat ash Magikarp. Magikarp. Delicious fish Pokemon. I, I thought that's who you were going to fish fight, honestly. I, the Magikarp? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would lose. <laughs> Believe it or not, we had Lauren Babbick on our show and she said she'd fist fight a Magikarp, if I'm not mistaken. Was that right, Hannah? Uh. I think she said Magikarp, like she'd punch that dumb fish right in between its eyes. <laughs> that's right. the mouth. I don't remember. I know oh. I said something about magic card because I, beer go I'm my nose. Sure, ew. Because I said that I would punt a magic card, but they're really heavy, so you'd probably break your foot punting it. It's Regiram. Regiram number 643. It is not known to evolve into anything else. It is the game mascot for Pokemon Black. It appears on the box art. Along with Zekrom and Kyurem, it is a member of the Tio Trio, which exists in the Legends of the Unova region. Regiram fuses with Kyurem using the DNA splicers to become White Kyurem. Uh, it is a big, fluffy, white fox dragon thing with a big old fiery turban butt. Uh, in, in the games prior to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, its catch rate was at 45. This is likely due to Regiram being required capture during the storyline of Pokemon Black and White. Uh, when it was first revealed simultaneously alongside Zekrom on both the official English and Japanese websites on May 28th, 2010, this makes them the first two Pokemon simultaneously revealed worldwide. That can't be true. That's a weird fact if that's true. 
We've never revealed two Pokemon at the same time before. Regiram, as well as Zekrom, made an appearance alongside Pikachu and a Pokeball in 2010's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, it appears in Pokemon Battle Chess. Alongside Zekrom, the player must lose a specific number of pieces to use it, and it takes four spaces on the board. Reshiram and his counterpart, Ze counterpart Zekrom are based on the concept of yin and yang in Taoism, directly referenced by Reshiram's Japanese species, the white yang Pokemon. According to Ken Sugimori, Reshiram has a light, airy, feminine design to contrast Zekrom's tough and masculine design. While the white design matches Reshiram's yang species name, yang being characterized by light, its feminine design contrasts with yang being characterized as masculine. In both versions of the 14th movie, however, Reshiram speaks with a distinctly male voice. Reshiram's tail, the center point of its design, is based on an electric turbine. Additionally, Reshiram has a more feathery natural appearance contrasting with Zekrom's industrial appearance. <sighs> Appearance-wise, it resembles a wyvern with characteristics of other animals such as birds, pterosaurs, and canines. Crest on its head and its feathers resemble smoke trails. There's so much of this shit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There is some resemblance to Zoroastrian beliefs of two equally powerful deities, one representing light and truth and the other representing lies and darkness. In this case, Reshiram can resemble not saying that word for fear of offending people due to its light and winged appearance and the fact that it's sided of, with truth, but also the fact that Reshiram is a fire-type Pokemon and that person was associated with fire. Uh, Hannah. Yes. Uh, Yes, this is a deity. I'm going to ruin this name. Ahura, Ahura Mazda. Oh, no. Why is Mazda in the name? Um, I was just looking. Like, they legit were in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I thought you were joking. But, yeah, they were afloat. <laughs> if that was a <laughs> joke, that was fun. an amazing thing that I wrote that I spent no time on and just blasted through. I know. <laughs> it's just weird. Like, I don't watch the Macy's yeah, it would be weird that I wrote a good years. joke. That's for sure. I'm just saying that it's, I don't know. You think of the Macy's Day Parade like Snoopy or like a big old turkey flying in the air. You don't think Pokemon. A big old turkey. Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon has been in the, the, I mean, I'd have to research, but they've been in the Macy's Day Parade for years, years upon years now. By now. Pikachu There's always makes been a few things we choose, Yeah. Yeah. I've never watched the Macy's Day Parade ever. No one ever has. It's just on TV for some reason. <laughs> Like, I've I'm never Canadian. seen it in like live ever. I've seen it on the news. Here's a business idea uh, to it, the council of, of the Macy's Day's Parade to sell the streaming lights, rights, the streaming lights, the streaming rights, right? Like it just seems like a no-brainer at this point. Sell to Peacock. Well, they need something to air. Um, like I just remember Thanksgiving. We would uh I think my grandma always had it on the TV and always be in the background. It's not one of those things you just sit down and watch. You're like stuffing your face with like hors d'oeuvres and and big old turkeys and big old turkeys. Big old turkeys. Big old turkeys. Like me a good Reggie Ram cooked with a Zephron <laughs> stuffed inside of it, like a big old turduck of sham. That's what we call the Reggie Ram in my household. And then I pump it full of gravy, if you know what I mean, Hannah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got like I got this nice new fancy microphone, courtesy of one Caliente, and she said I could speak into it real sultry like and real country southern like, like I smothered you like a biscuit with my gravy, baby, with your butter. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel really dirty right now. <laughs> well. I need to go shower. Uh, that was <laughs> that sounds like Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when I'm finished, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's lifting time on a show. They can't sue you if you sing over it, because then you could say it's just. Um, they can't stew you. Yeah, like they're, they're like gonna turn you into stew. He, he stole our music. No, I didn't. I parodied it. You heard me sing over it. It's not. It's not yours. I did all the instrumentation myself. Boop 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 boop. Your butt. Boop 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 boop. Thank you, Miss Aguilera, for 
for coming into me in the moment. Your spirit. Fur. Appreciate it. Fur coming into me. Oh, so, guys, it's Christmas Eve and Santa needs help delivering gifts, but the fog is too dense and he just can't do it. Uh, there's too many houses and too many very good little boys and girls. And he needs a hand. What are you looking, Taylor? What, what's on your mind? What, what's that? What was that look? Audio medium. You had, to, you had to change your tone for that one specific. I don't know what you're talking about. Macy's Day Parade is the name of the song. Um, yeah, so top three Pokemon to help Santa deliver gifts. And we're going to rapid fire these because there's so many people in this damn podcast who like to talk into microphones and contribute, hey, Taylor. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> uh Tyson, you're our esteemed guest other than Taylor, who is also esteemed. But uh, since Taylor's been on this show before. She's old news. Nobody, you know, she's she's gorgeous. She's pretty. She's a wonderful human being. But she's old news at this point. Ta Tyson, you're the one that just popped up on our app that we swiped up on. You're the new meat. You're the one that we want. Whoa. Yes, I mean, my algorithm works. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, you're the one that we got to, you know, like, hey, little mama at the end of the bar, how you doing? Let me Let me buy you a drink. You know, yeah. so we're going to let you go first. If you could pick a Pokemon to help Santa deliver gifts or help him in some other way, uh, Christmas Eve, who would it be? And with the first pick in that draft, it... it helps when I press correct buttons. Go ahead, Tyson. I'm going to grab a ditto. Because then we could have multiple Santas entering multiple houses and making oh. all the kids happy simultaneously Doubling in the same up. hour. That's solid. But also, if the kid does... Okay, so Ditto does not have Santa's powers, however. Like, he doesn't know when they're sleeping or when they're awake. Ditto would also but be just a Santa just with two little out. beady eyes and just be terrifying. Santa, is that you? And then imagine a Ditto Santa looking down at them with that creepy Ditto smile. Mm -hmm. Like... <laughs> And just saying, Ditto! Traumatizing him. <laughs> oh, what if, like, Ditto went to one of those houses where, like, the mom is under the mistletoe just waiting for him, like, posted up, like, hey there, Chris <laughs> Kringle. I heard you, you think Ditto Kringle. would eat the cookies? I saw I Ditto saw eating Santa Claus. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Mommy eating Santa's balls. I gargling saw them. Never mind, that's Getting engulfed by Santa's giant ditto goop. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hannah loves ditto goop. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> ditto. Ditto. Step ditto. I'm stuck in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> well, morph your way out. <laughs> That's got to be a t-shirt, right? Step ditto. I'm stuck in the dryer. Taylor with the second pick in the who's going to help Santa draft. I think I'm going to go with Avra. He can teleport. So be like, oh, here's a gift. Go teleport to Tommy's house and drop it off and come back. And we're going to do it over and over again real fast. Okay. Solid reasoning. Solid. I dig it. Uh, also, Avra used to be a young child that woke up as a Pokemon one day. So he probably understands what it's like. So to you could be, be like, look at Christmas. all these gifts that you can't have. Yeah. I mean, never mind him like <laughs> teleporting to his own home where his parents like miss him dearly because he was just a lost child and he'd be look stare at them longingly as they sleep in the bed, possibly with a new child to replace him as he, since he's been gone for all this time, stuck in the body of a Pokemon. Oh, what horrible sadness we read. Surprise, it was a ditto. Step, Abra, I'm stuck in the dryer. Hannah, it's your turn. Okay, so I picked this before it was your favorite Tyson, so I'm sorry, but um, I pick lick -a tongue so he can lick all the Christmas envelopes. Oh, oh, that's where we're going. All right. All right. Wow. Th really thinking outside the box. And also, if there's a Pokemon stuck in a dryer, okay, that's the one to get stuck in the dryer. I mean, talk about WAP. Like a tongue stuck in the dryer. Mm -hmm. WAP, WAP, WAP. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. What's your pick? <laughs> uh, my pick for this Pokey draft uh is uh ooh, ooh, i'm picking houndoom 
Uh, one, for one reason. Well, a couple reasons. Uh, one, look at Hannah's face. That's right. I stole her dog. Um, I we, always pick Houndoom. I know, and I wanted to have, steal Houndoom for a change. I'm so <laughs> pleased that you didn't pick Houndoom first because I wanted to steal Houndoom. Uh, he's my number one. I'm going to name him Dozer. I'm going to give him good boy pets. And he's also going to be like Rudolph on, on the front of Santa's sleigh with his fire breath, uh, lighting the way as a terrifying skeleton dog from hell. Uh, so yeah, that's that's who I'm going with. Fine. Tyson, you're up, pal. Oh, we're adding to this draft still? Let's oh, yeah. See. We're still yep. going. We're doing three. Unfortunately, right? it's a sad mm-hmm. day. Oh, we could do two. That's eight. We'll do two. That's plenty. Oh, I'm down with three. How about a Teddy oh, Ursa? Teddy Ursa. That's nice and, do nice and cute. It could it could be... Um, you know, if I woke up and saw a Santa Claus with a ditto face, I'd be terrified, but you have the Teddy Ursa to counterbalance that. Okay. So is the Teddy Ursa is like the elf. Helping. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. It's like oh yeah, it's like the, Island with, of Misfit Toys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See when there's a sea of cute teddy ears says you don't really think of Santa Claus terrifying fit ditto face. Oh, so there's a sea of them in your house. Does every I, you know, child yeah, get a, a teddy ursa? For only for Christmas, yes. Oh, okay. Like a teddy bear. Yeah. I had a teddy bear named Pookie Taylor. Lay me on to my ears, your sweet vocal buds. Uh, I'm gonna go with Stantler because it's basically a reindeer. So solid reasoning. Santa's whole plan. And you know what? If if they get stuck in a fence, you gotta help push them out. There you go. <laughs> That's a really dirty, like, like Southern joke that I don't want to explain. Uh, Hannah, it's your turn. Okay. I have no idea what joke you're talking about. So that must be just a you joke. So, uh, all righty. Mm, I, I don't know. My mom will tell you a joke about the sheet. Mm, I love it when they get stuck in the fence. Cause oh, my God. Shut up. Push okay. them through, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm gonna let you talk since, about them. nice. Slather them up. Since I couldn't Brett. S- slab a beef. So <laughs> and I, I hate you. I'm gonna send I love your Christmas you. presents back. I'm gonna give you a dick in a box. Uh, is a oh dick in a box? Do you wanna hear my Pokemon? I would not? love to. I spit it out. Okay. Since there is no Krampus in Pokemon or Krampus like Pokemon and Krampus is my favorite holiday legend I guess that's what you would put it legend um Where are you? yeah you haven't heard of Krampus Hannah hates I, children I've met, I've met Krampus you have I have too yeah. okay wow. um so I picked Trubbish because he is going to be carrying the gifts for the bad kids Trubbish I I kind of, I'm kind of into that. If you throw like a a, a roly coly in there, you also have. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> roly coly, baby. He is a literal coal Pokemon. He could give all the bad children coal. Thank you for giving me that idea, Hannah. You're welcome. So, would he be a legend or what? What is it called? I don't know. Folklore. Folklore. Thank you. Formerly of of various religions. You know that thing when current religions phase out old religions and say those were fake and bad and wrong. Like then they become folklore. Like you know how we treat. You know how insane it is that Thor is a Marvel hero. That's like a hundred years from now. If we take Jesus and put him in the MCU and people don't give a shit, you know, that's basically what we've done is we've taken a people's Jesus and and put him in the MCU. Uh, and that's fucking crazy to think about for me. But anyway. Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter. Have you ever watched that? <laughs> oh, that's that a great think, one. That's a good idea. I thought a Blankton was a Vampire Hunter. They, maybe they both are. Ooh. Maybe they're the same guy. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I went with Rolly Coley is, one, Hannah reminded me of Cole. And two, I was going to have a Krampus Pokemon. And she beat me to it. Ooh. 
Yeah. So I was. So gonna, you would have stolen two of my things. Like I, I was getting I'm there. Rude. I was I gonna pick that. Obstagoon. Obstagoon is the perfect Krampus Pokemon, as far as I'm concerned. But um, here we go. You said we only did two. And then Tyson said he wanted to do three. Three. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. I I meant to say Tyson, and I said the word three again. So I said three a lot of times. Tyson, number three. Just call me three for the rest of this uh, podcast. Threeson. Threeson. (laughs) Threeson. I'm going to say, so Taylor went for the obvious and did the reindeer. I'm going to go for the next obvious and do Deadly Bird. I mean, the only reason I didn't put Deadly Bird on my list is because I was like, someone's going to pick Deadly Bird. Uh, Same Z's. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Deli Bird still, because Santa needs helpers, and I there's think, a lot of packages to carry around. I think you I think you big brained us because we were so big brained we didn't pick Deli Bird, so like nobody else was picking Deli Bird, so you did great. And if you say Deli Bird, it sounds like deliver in Japanese. I, when whenever I hear Deli Bird, I think like oh, it's a bird that has deli meats, and that's that's how I hmm. think of Deli Bird. Like he the bag throws, is just full of deli meats. Yeah. Like he just uh, throws like like, episode, uh, What's that episode of Futurama where it's like uh, uh, the Santa Claus episode and it's a bag full of fish. It's Fishmas. Fishmas. I think of like my time as like a Sam's Club helper where like I would give out the um the samples to people and then they really couldn't give me the the um deli cutlet station because when no one was around i would just eat the meat like just <laughs> just shoveling deli meats into my mouth <laughs> constantly the same thing with the cheese one the cheese is so good if there's no one around I'm... ate so much cheese god that job um but you basically admitted that you stole from your employer <laughs> hey it's get getting it. what he wasn't paid for <laughs> They paid me nothing. They didn't pay me enough to eat, so I ate. Taylor? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to go with Obama Snow because he could, like, kind of blend in with the Christmas tree, maybe. Well, he could be the Christmas tree. You can hang ornaments there on There you him. go. Yeah. There you go. I, I'm with Maybe you someone can't afford a Christmas tree. He can be the gift. He can be a fake tree. I'm, He's going to stand there it. for uh, two months. Two to the which, is, which is all cool till he sneezes, and then they're just like, what was that? And the house he can, explodes. I mean, you really wouldn't have to worry about taking your own decorations off. I mean, he'd probably do it for you. It's on his body. That's true. Yeah. Hannah, it's your turn, and I'm going to let you talk right now. Okay. Right I now. picked Tyrant because he's going to help pull the sleigh to deliver the gifts. Oh. What? I don't, I don't follow your reasoning on this one. And he's a dinosaur, so it doesn't I, I want a dinosaur for Christmas. No, that's not how that song goes. Oh, that's Hippopotamus that I'm thinking of. Never mind. No, Hannah, your ideas are terrible, and you they're bad, and you should feel bad. I do, uh, all With the, the time. final pick in the Poke Draft for helping Santa deliver Christmas cheer, I'm going Are you going to with... tell us? Are you going to tell us what it is, Brett? What's your last pick? Is it a Tyrant? Is it a Sizor? What about a Deli Bird? It was probably yeah, a bag's good. full of. Oh, I bet it was Deli meat in that bag. Porygon. Clef- Kev- Klefki. It's a Jinx, wasn't it? Maybe Psyduck. Well, I'm really getting my comeuppance today, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe it's Pikachu. Can I talk? Can I can I can I talk? Can I talk? Yeah, go ahead. Right now? Yeah. I'm no, still waiting for you to, I'm still waiting for you to interrupt me like I interrupt you. <laughs> go ahead. Right now? Yeah, I'll put it on mute if you want me to. Dark Cry. That's the name of our show. That's the name of our show and it's the name of a Pokemon. And here's why I would pick Dark Cry. Because why do you pick Dark Cry? Because Santa needs help. Santa knows when you've been sleeping and he knows when you're awake and you better be good for goodness sake. You know who else knows when you've been sleeping and knows when you're awake and you better be good for goodness sake? Dark ride. Apparently you do. Oh, I know. I know when they're all asleep. Mm, I don't know. Why did I say anything? It just blows Uh, up in my face. I prefer when they don't move. Mm, mm, mm. 
He's lining them with my biscuits and gravy. And my anyway, sausage. don't you have a question for Tyson? Oh, yeah, Tyson, I got a question for you right now. I can just give me a Hey, baby, do you ask me what type of question you want to ask me? I want to hear that I'll question. I'll answer for you, baby. So sweet old yeah. question, yeah. Yeah. You know, Taylor, Della we should Bird's, probably go. Della Bird's <laughs> bag is full of meat, you know. So <laughs> where's that? Where, I love it when they flop down a big old thing of meat on the ta- on the countertop there. Yeah. Yes. Santa Claus is like Deli Bird. What did you bring me? And Deli Bird's like Deli Bird. And then sausage. <laughs> I didn't know birds could make sausage. I'm telling you the truth. I thought that was pig. Like a spoink. I got nothing to do with good old spoink. Oh, it's got nothing to do with. Making it, he's just deliberating it. He's hey, deliberating it. Tyson, have you ever heard of making bacon? Mmm. I'd like to make some bacon with you, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get me a pig. <laughs> Squeal like a pig, boy. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe for this ASMR. <laughs> Leave a review. We know it's oh, gonna be one star. <laughs> we will send you a pig. Tyson, you're on an arc, and two Pokemon are making a baby. What horrible monstrosity have you just allowed to come to fruition? What? <laughs> you have an arc of all the Pokemon and you walk in and two Pokemon are boning and making a terrible Pokemon, and you're gonna allow it. What two, what two Pokemon have you allowed to make a terrible abomination? I mean, I'm not going to stop them. They're going to kill me. They have powers beyond. I'm, it's very true. I'm going to cock block a, a Pokemon. You can't cock block that Pokemon. I'm really up on this screen right here. Now. Yeah. Well, I've always seen, uh, you know, where Lord and Skitty, you know, <laughs> they, always, they always be hit, you know. So. That Skitty's dead. <laughs> Whale Lord it, and Skitty. You know about that, right? Was it <laughs> Whale Lord and Skitty action or whatever it's called? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. Almost every uh, Pokemon games, I think Generation 3 onward, you go to the Pokemon daycare center and you'll see a Whale Lord and a Skitty doing the thing, doing the dirties. What? Yeah. Huh, let me, I'm going to. Make sure that it's a skitty. insane, insane, folks. That's gonna. Hot, t- it's called hot skitty on whale lord action. That's what? A, it's a. <laughs> oh my god! What? I'm gonna let that happen right there. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let. <laughs> I can't even talk no more. <laughs> But Skitty, I'm gonna let Skitty be on top of Whale Lord, not the other <laughs> way around, because then I'll only end up with one Pokemon. You know, I need both. I need both alive to make this work, you know. Well, there's a DeviantArt search. <laughs> I never won. Really oh into this. my god, someone drew a whale penis fucking that cat. Y'all, that's been Pokemon After Dark Rod. Thank you so much for listening. My name's Brett. That one is Hannah. The other one is Taylor. Do that thing that I always say to do and that no one ever does. Leave a rating or review. Check out our merch. All that info is in the description. And also check out Tyson at the following places. Tyson? Uh, OnlyFans.com slash hot skitty <laughs> on Waylord action. Uh, you could also find me on twitch.tv slash Tyson Dang, youtube.com slash Tyson Dang, and everything, everything that can have a slash in it, it'll end with slash Tyson Dang, and that'll be me. Yeah, and you know that stuff will be in the description as well. Uh, check out his streams; they're super duper awesome. Um, and then join the Dang Gang on the Discord and talk to us. You can talk to people like me because why wouldn't you want to talk to people like me? Uh, it's why a wonderful. Would I? Shut up, Hannah. Uh, what a wonderful day! Happy holidays, folks. Uh, 
I want to promote um, Breaker Streams. That's me. I'm Breaker, and I stream video games and, and yell Woo. about it. But I'm not good at them. I'm very bad. Uh, I'm learning how to do things. Taylor can attest. I get frustrated after five minutes and turn off the computer and walk away. But other than that, uh, yeah. Have We hope you have a happy holiday. Join us next week when we have a show. Hannah, do you have anything you want to you wanna get off your chest? Like your OnlyFans account? Yeah, OnlyFans slash breaker streams slash trubbish <laughs> what type of streams are we talking about for the only fans <laughs> yeah that, it depends on how on like what level you subscribe on what tier you get it depends on how much you drink it depends on what kind of content you're looking for there if you want some gravy slathered on some feet and on your toesies taylor what you got there what you want to plug you can plug anything you can say anything anything at all it's an audio nothing. medium you just no. Nope. Taylor would like okay. to support being oh, silent wait. during podcasts. <laughs> Time yeah, out. Moderator. Talking as little so, as possible. So I want to thank um, our upstairs neighbors because when Lauren God. was on the show, <laughs> no, when Lauren was on the show, were we on the air? Oh, are you talking about Canada? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So um, she, she was just luck upstairs. in the 2020 presidential election, and it went our way. So thanks for all your support and yeah. thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so. for leaving that back door open so that we can escape. Uh, yeah, for you I just folks. Wanna- throw that in there love you very much uh i would also like to promote jaws breakers a scary funny shark show podcast where we watch terrible shark movies with people and we do a podcast about it uh it's jawsome i'm going i'm late to one like uh we have a movie airing in 30 minutes so as soon as this podcast is over i'm jumping in the car and driving tyson, straight over to jazz tyson has a question tyson the room nominates you <laughs> I also wanted to promote, because uh, I think by the time this episode comes out, RHD will have released, uh, RHD being the band Red Hand Denial, might have released a uh, thing. A thing? I'm not supposed to say that? Is your, oh, is wow. That your no, you can. Brett, oh, like, thing. right now. Hype He's train! Woo-woo! I'm very excited. Red Hand Brett's, Denial. Brett's fanboy. We're going we're gonna to have a, um, a fanboy. I love Red Hand. We're going to have a new cover, or we would have had a new cover out by then. So check it out. Yeah, and see what it is. If you if you uh, if you go looking for it and it's not out yet, make sure you just sub to the YouTube, the RHD YouTube. Check out their website. Check out their Twitter. Their whatever. Oh they- wait, 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 wait! Because I didn't say this when Lauren was on. Red Handed Denial is on. You can find them on uh, Shit Pandora. On yes. Shit Pandora, but also regular <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> so I can't Pandora- think of the word, but it's on. Are we on Pandora? Pandora? I did not know. They're on YouTube. Yes, they're on you Spotify. On they're on Google Play. They're on Amazon Music. They're on Pandora and shit Pandora. Coming soon. <laughs> uh, it's Pandora. I guess the bathroom. Yeah. Shit Pandora. It's just it's the only. There's only one artist, and it's just trapped on there. That's what it is. <laughs> Taylor Tyson, thanks so much for being on the show today. Uh, I yeah, love you both you very much. You're wonderful people. Hannah, you're a person that exists. Um, yep. <laughs> so after trubbish leaves you a present dark why dark 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 why will come and bless you with his presence bye everybody bye Around Reed. i thought we were gonna all bust into like a christmas song or something no all no. i want for christmas is yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Broke the microphone. <laughs> <laughs>